Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. They are everywhere. Travel vlogs, wedding videos, cooking shows, tutorials, uh, 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 well anywhere really. You see them all the time. Hand drawn right on text effect as well as cute or scary overlay animation can add a lot of life and interest to any of your videos. And the great thing is they're actually really easy to create. Now, there are quite a lot of different ways to create them. So in this tutorial, I want to show you what I personally think is probably the easiest one. And that is simply to use your iPad as well as the Apple Pencil. Now, if you don't have an iPad, you can use a Surface Pro or any other tablet with a pen that you can actually draw on because we're essentially going to screen record us drawing the animation, be that a title, a little text element or, you know, like a little and then we're going to export the video from our tablet to our computer and bring it into a video editing program. There we're going to remove the background so the text, the title or the animation that we created is on a transparent background so we can overlay it onto our video. Then we can clean it up a little bit, stylize it, make it sit really nicely in our video. For this tutorial we will be using a powerful but totally free drawing app that you can grab on the Apple Store called Sketchbook from Autodesk. And for my video editing program I'm going to export my video into Adobe Premiere Pro. However, you can also use Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve to create the exact same effect and get a really nice hand-drawn animated title. As always, I'm going to drop you some timestamps down below so you can jump to any part in this video that you might find interesting. Also, if you enjoy my videos, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out my channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate the support. Also, before we jump into it, thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is a fantastic platform if you want to learn anything from drawing, video editing or graphic design to time management, marketing or web development. With thousands of exciting classes, most of which are less than 60 minutes long, there's classes to fit any schedule and skill level. What I like about Skillshare is that rather than having to pay for every class individually, Skillshare works on a subscription model. Once you subscribe, you get unlimited access to all classes with many hands-on projects to practice your new skills and a supportive community for less than $10 a month. Or if like me, you're looking to earn a little bit of extra money, why not teach a skill yourself by offering a class on Skillshare? Becoming a teacher is really easy. They have a fair revenue share model and it's a great way to give back to the community at the same time. I actually teach a few classes on video editing and visual effects on Skillshare myself and if that's something you're into, it would be pretty silly for me not to nudge you just a little bit to go and check them out. I'm really enjoying Skillshare both as a student and as a teacher and if you'd like to learn or teach a new skill, go and check it out. And the first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. Just note that the link is valid for a limited time only. But now, before I talk your face off, let's jump right into the tutorial. Let's first get that free drawing app. For that, simply open up the Apple Store on your iPad and search for Sketchbook. The app you want is this one right here, Sketchbook by Autodesk. It's got some really great features and it's completely free. Grab it, install it, use it. So hopefully, even if you stop watching this video right now, you have got something useful out of it. Now, before we get to drawing our animated titles, we need to enable screen recording on our iPad. To enable it, jump into your settings and navigate to the control center. Click on customize controls and in here you need to add the screen recording feature to your control center. Now, when you bring up the control center, you should have the screen recording feature available. Tap it once, wait until it starts, which should be indicated by this big red bar plastered across the top of your screen and then you're ready to get drawing. So fire up Sketchbook. Create a new sketch by clicking on the card icon in the top left hand side of your screen. I recommend you create your sketch in landscape orientation rather than portrait because it'll simply fit the format of your video better. Now this isn't going to be a complete tutorial on how to use Sketchbook, that's actually pretty easy anyway. Over on the left hand side here you'll find all of your brushes and tools. You can click your way through these to find one that you like and you can double tap any of these tools to customize all sorts of settings to adjust their look and feel completely to your liking. Then simply draw on the blank canvas and because we are screen recording this animation, this will be the animated title we'll capture for our video. There are two quick settings for your brush that are super helpful down here in this little pill. Click on the brush icon and drag up or down to adjust the opacity or transparency of your brush. Click on this icon and drag left or right to adjust the size. You can also click on the color swatch below to change the color of your brush though. For best results I recommend to stick to drawing your animation with black on white. Let's undo everything and then we can simply draw out our animated title in as much detail as we want. 
Don't worry too much if you have to redo some strokes. We can cut all of that out in our video editing tool later. Now, I'm not an artist. In case that wasn't obvious from this ugly ass title, in case you're in the same situation as me and you want to make it easier to get a nice looking animation, you can actually sketch your title or your image out first and then trace over it to make getting everything right much easier. Let's look at how you would do that. Use any tool you like to draw, sketch or mock up the title that you want to create. Now again, I'm not great at calligraphy and not much of an artist, but I hope you get the idea. Once you get your sketch ready, over on the right hand side here, just tap on this layer icon. In the layer settings pop-up, reduce the opacity for this layer to 1 or 2, as faint as you can so that you can still see it, but the fainter you make it, the easier it will be to remove this sketch from the final animated title. Now click on this plus icon at the top of the layer panel over on the right hand side to add a new layer. On this layer now you can, with solid black, trace over the draft or outline you created, hopefully to get a nice looking title right off the bat. If this is still not as clean or professional looking as you'd like, let me show you how you can make a perfectly shaped text element appear as if it was drawn by hand. For now, click on the current layer and select to delete it. Then let's click on the sketch layer and bring the opacity back up to 100%. However, since this is just as ugly as anything I've drawn in the rest of this tutorial, let's tap that layer one more time and select to clear it. Phew, I feel much better already just not having to look at that. Let's create a nice professional looking title. For that, click on the text tool up here in the menu bar. Now you can type out any text title that you want. Due to the lockdown and the world gone crazy, I've been dreaming of holidays, so let's just go with that. From the top menu, you can also adjust the font to pick something that looks good to you. Let me change my brush color to red and if you now draw on this layer, you can see that we can scribble all over this pretty looking title. However, over on the right hand side at the bottom of the layer icon is a little lock that will lock the transparency of this layer when you tap it. With transparency lock enabled, when you try to draw on this layer, your paint will only be visible where you've already painted, kind of like using a cutout template. And we can now use this to make it look like we're hand drawing out this perfectly clean text title. However, because we don't want this cutout placeholder to be visible in our final video, let's once again tap on the layer over on the right hand side and then select the HSL adjustment option. Push the bottom slider to the right to bring up the lightness of this layer until it is again almost entirely white. You want it to be as faint as possible, but you probably still want to be able to see it just so you know where you have to trace it by hand. If you now disable the visibility of any layers below, you can see that our text is still there, it's just so close to white that it's hardly visible. Let's re-enable those layers and let's change the brush color back to black. Now we can draw onto this layer to make this text appear and the final title will look perfectly clean and professional. So now, simply trace the text layer by hand in the way that you want your final text animation to look. By the way, you can use this technique to create anything from text titles to cute animations, icons, logos or any sort of overlay that you'd like. And with that, we're done with Sketchbook. From the control center on your iPad, stop your screen recording and then jump into the Photos and Videos app. Look at the video that you just recorded and transfer it to your computer. If you have a Mac, you can simply airdrop it. I'm going to export it to my Google Drive so that I can grab it on my Windows machine. And now let's jump over into our video editing program and convert this into a cool looking title text animation. Here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro, but as I said, you can do this in Final Cut, Sony Vegas and almost all other video editing tools as well. I have a short clip here from a tropical holiday and we now want to add our animated title right on top. I have already imported my file right here called rp replay underscore final something something and let's convert this into a nice clean title for us to use. Right click the file in your project panel and select new sequence from clip. This will create a new sequence for us and as you can see it contains our entire screen recording session here. Now we only want the very last bit right here where we actually draw out the title we want to use. So I'm going to trim this clip and delete everything before and everything after we drew out our title and sketchbook. Let's pull this clip to the start of the sequence, zoom in a little bit and because I don't need the audio track I'm going to right click on this clip, select to unlink and then just delete the empty audio track from the screen recording. So here's our title animation now, however it still shows everything else we had on the screen. To get rid of that make sure the clip is selected, come into the effects controls panel and under opacity. Click on this rectangle here to add a rectangular mask to the video. Move the mask in place and adjust the corner so it covers the entire title. Cool, so now how do we get rid of this white background? Well, it's actually much easier to invert the colors of the video so it's white on black rather than black on white. For that, select your clip, come into the effects panel and search for the invert effect. 
Under Video Effects and Channel, you should find the Invert Effect. Apply this to your clip and voila, we now have a clean white text title. Or do we? Well, if you drew this freehand, you're good to go. However, if you used a transparency lock technique or had any other sort of sketch underneath the title that you drew, you may have some faint remnants of that still in your video, so we will need to get rid of that too. For that, come back into the Effects panel and search for the Luma Key Effect. You will find it under Video Effects, Keying. Apply the effect to your clip and most likely that should be enough to get rid of that faint outline underneath your title. You may have to come into the settings for the Luma Key Effect and tweak the threshold a little bit to make sure it looks nice and clean, but it should be pretty straightforward. And with that, you now have a clean white on black animated title. Awesome! Now next, I don't really want this title animation to take over a minute, so I'm going to cut off the animation part of this video and then press R to select the Rate Stretch tool. Then I will compress this animation itself down to maybe around 4 seconds so the title appears nice and quickly. Let's bring the end in and if we play this back now, this actually looks pretty cool. I might make the end a little bit longer, again just using the Rate Stretch tool to slow it down, just so that I have enough time left where the full title is actually visible. Cool! We're ready to use this in our video. For that, simply drag the title sequence we created, let me actually rename that to title-holidays, into our video on top of our holiday footage. Again, I don't need the audio, so I'll unlink that and delete it, so we just have the text title left. Position the title where you want it to appear, and if you play this back now, a perfect title hand drawn onto your video. Again, I might extend the end a bit with the Rate Stretch tool to make the title last until the end of the video. By the way, if you want to change the color of this title, the easiest thing to do is to apply a tint effect. You can find the tint effect under Video Effects Color Correction in the Effects panel. Simply apply the effect to the title and then change the map white to property to any color you'd like. I'm feeling like pink today. And there you go. You can also change the blend mode of the title itself from normal to something like screen to blend the title a little bit nicer into your video, but do what you want here, this is your title after all and who am I to tell you what that should look like. Let me apply the tint effect and the blend mode change to both snippets of my title and if we play this back now, we have a really nice looking hand-drawn holiday vlog title animation. And that is all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the comment section below. If you want to support me while I do on this channel, be sure to check out all of the links down in the video description. And as always, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.